This is Robert McMullen, MD. I'm a psychiatrist, and um, for over 30 years, I've been doing psychopharmacology in New York City. And for some 10 years, I've been doing TMS, transcranial magnetic stimulation, which added to my armamentarium. I went to medical school at Georgetown, which was a great place, and uh, psychiatry residency at Columbia, which was equally a good and friendly and helpful place. I wanted to talk a little bit about the OCD treatments. There's now approximately four, three that are uh, well established. The first one, is the inhibitory treatment on the pre-SMA. And that means the pre-supplementary motor area. There's, the motor area is a strip that comes down here like this. And uh, when we're doing TMS, we obtain the motor threshold by doing a stimulation over the hand area of the motor strip to cause uh, a movement of the right hand or the finger and thumb. And the minimal amount of stimulation gives us an indication of how strong the intensity should be for the TMS treatment itself, which is in a different area. Now the motor strip has in front of it a supplementary motor strip, which uh, is involved with the motor movement too. And then the pre-supplementary motor area is, is what it says. It's before that. And uh, someone recently said that for some things with the pre-SMA, it's better to do it even slightly more forward. I'm not sure about that, but Jonathan Downer said that, and he's the great researcher at uh, Toronto. Um, Uh, now, this treatment was developed by uh, Lissenby and Antonio Montavani at Columbia. It got started because uh, this side, excitatory, inhibitory rather, helps out anxiety within a couple of days. So then it didn't help. Everybody tried it. Then they did it up at the top. Then they did it a little bit farther forward and it helped a little. And then they found that this place, it really did help and it was very statistically significant. And then a company called Brainsway from uh, Jerusalem uh, developed a helmet that goes over the head where the coils, the copper coils in the helmet are arranged in a configuration that makes the magnetic field go a lot deeper. A brilliant physicist named uh, Yiftak Roth uh, developed this. He's been working on it a decade or so. And, uh, and it was really complicated to figure out how to do this mathematically and every, every other way. They have a special helmet just designed for OCD and the treatment goes down through the middle of the head and then goes deeper than any other helmet they have. And it hits the anterior cingulate cortex. Uh, the cortex is, is all the convolutions uh, of the brain that's on top with the sulci in between. Well, just below the cortex is another cortical area called the uh, cingulate cortex, and it's, it's large. It runs from the frontal area back into the parietal area. But anyway, they knew that if they would hit this area that it would likely help the um, OCD. So I asked uh, Dr. Roth how they figured what, uh, out whether to do it excitatory or inhibitory. And he said they didn't know. <laughs> they just knew they needed to hit that area based on other research and, and so on. So they tried both and the excitatory worked. So that's been the treatment. This is fortunate also because it's an excitatory treatment going right down through the middle. So it's hitting this dorsal medial prefrontal cortex. And that 
causes depression to remit also because if you use other standard coils that's a treatment spot for depression so when you do this treatment it often treats both OCD and depression almost always go together even if the person's main problem seems to be OCD they also have some concurrent mild depression and in fact if you treat the depression without treating the OCD sometimes the OCD will decrease improve rather dramatically much more than you would think but usually not remit uh, now another place to treat is in the right orbital frontal cortex and uh, doing an inhibitory treatment here helps depression that's a somewhat new finding again prompted by theoretical considerations by Jonathan Downer in Toronto and also uh, clinical trials when you treat this with an inhibitory treatment it also helps OCD but they do it in a different way and I'm not sure why I'm gonna have to look into that how they came up with these parameters but what they do is 60 seconds of uh, inhibition that's one pulse per second then 30 seconds interval rest area and then 60 seconds again for a total of six times so that ends up just being a nine minute tr treatment and uh, 360 pulses total I don't know why they came up with uh, 60 pulses in a row and not 90 pulses or 30 or why they came up with 360 total pulses and not 2,000 pulses I'm not sure how they came up with that but I'm going to do some reading and try to find out but in any case in studies this had a very significant effect in OCD bringing some uh, well anyway a, a large uh, percentage of people uh, to either remission or responders and um, responders are usually considered 25% uh, improved on the Y box this is a self rating scale with depression you have to be 50% improved to say this is a, a response but since OCD is harder to treat since medication works very poorly with OCD and uh, and there's no placebo responses usually people usually don't have a big placebo response like they do in depression uh, then the response is called 25 percent improvement which is actually quite significant in a lot of people if their OCD is really torturing them uh, now whether using two or three of these together would be more helpful who knows but I'm certain that people are going to try that once they've done 30 treatments on somebody and they've had little or no response they may then try to either go to another treatment or try to use two treatments at once all this is going to take years to sort out because there's so many possible parameters and combinations that you can do with TMS this is Robert D McMullen uh, with a little information on OCD Oh yeah, there's one more. They, they did a OCD treatment on the left orbital frontal cortex. I think it was just one study and uh, at one hertz inhibitory and it helped. Uh, but that's not definitive yet if it was only one study. So uh, I'm going to try to um, read more literature on this and uh, and try to establish what <clears throat> the best route to go with um, treatment thank you very much <clears throat>